Fred Sarah and John Manatee. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us because art is always better with friends. Friends like you. Now, what do they need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and someone to color with. Yeah, and you don't have to use a marker to draw with. We like using markers because then we don't spend any time erasing, but you could use a pencil if you want. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's first draw our manatee's snout or the nose. We're gonna start over here on the left side so that we have room for the whole body. We're gonna start by drawing an upside down U, or rainbow line. Then let's draw the bottom of the snout. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up and then back down and then <laughs> it goes down, back up, and then back down. Looks it, like a jelly bean. It does, that's what, I, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Upside down jelly bean. And then let's draw the bottom of the mouth. We're gonna draw a big lip right here that comes down and back up. Then let's draw the nostrils. We'll draw a little oval here and a little oval over here. And then let's give them whiskers. I'm gonna draw a couple dots on this cheek and a couple dots over here on this cheek. And we could draw a little hair sticking out too. Let's draw three little hairs on the side and also over here on the side. <laughs> now let's draw the eyes. We're gonna draw an, a circle or an oval on the left and the same size circle or over oval on the right. Yeah, and then we can draw a smaller circle in the top of that oval and color in the big, the big circle or the big oval, but leave that little circle white. Let's do the same thing over here on this side. Yeah, now we're ready to draw the body. Let's start next to the cheek right here, and we're gonna draw a big curve that comes over like this and then back down. Well, it's more the head, and then we're gonna draw the rest of the body. <laughs> so we've got a little wrinkle right here on the neck, and then we can draw the rest of the body. Oh, let's draw a little bump right here first, and then we'll draw a big, Whoa. a big, big curve coming down, and then stop like that. And that's why we drew it so over here. Yeah, so we have room for the whole body. It's a little bump for the little wrinkle. Yes, and then curve around, and then right at the end, I kind of start curving back in like that. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of the head. Right here, I'm gonna draw the curve that comes down like this, and we're gonna come underneath the chin. It already looks like one. Yeah. <laughs> we're not even done, and it's starting to look like it. Then we're gonna add a little wrinkle. And then let's draw the belly line. We're gonna draw a little, another little curve like that. Then let's draw the first little flipper. We're gonna start here, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes like this and curves back. Looks like, yeah. Then we're gonna curve back around and watch right here at the end, I'm gonna get closer to the where I started, but we're not gonna touch. Leave a little space right there. Then let's draw little wrinkles on the front of the flipper and a little wrinkle on the back of the flipper where it comes into the body. Let's give them another flipper on the other side. So we're gonna repeat the same steps, but curve it the other way to make it look 3D. Then we're gonna curve back around like this, and then into the body or our chin. Yeah, I love manatees. It looks so cool. Next, we can finish the tail. So right here, we're gonna imagine the belly line going behind the little flipper right here, and then we're gonna curve around like this, and then come down and stop kind of in the same spot. And then the end of the tail has, it looks like it's got a big paddle at the end. Then we're gonna start here and connect to the flipper. And we, if you want, you could imagine that going beyond the flipper if you wanna make it a lot bigger. And then coming out this, we're gonna curve around and then connect it back in to the body. There you go, keep going. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our manatee, it looks awesome. But we still need to color it. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video if you wanna match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah!
Awesome, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our manatee. You did a great job. You did a great job too. Thanks, buddy. What do we use to color our drawings? Biannual markers. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> and the colors that we used was B003. It's a blue color. And that's what we use for the main, for the whole thing. Then we use B114, it's a darker blue to add the spots and the texture on the back of the manatee. I also use my white colored pencil to add little highlights to make my manatee look shiny or wet. But you can leave that off to keep this lesson a little easier. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your manatees. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun. I'm sure your drawings turned out super cool. You could even add a background. Maybe it's underwater eating some grass. <laughs> well, or seaweed, or underwater grass. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.